This video will show how we can derive an equation that relates object distance, image distance, and focal length for a converging lens. So we're starting with a ray diagram. We have our converging lens here, and the dotted line shows the center of the lens. This line going through the center of the lens the other direction is called the principal axis. This is our object with some object height, and this is our image with some image height. These two dots represent the focal points of the lens, and remember that the distance from the center of the lens to the focal point is called the focal length. We're going to use geometry to come up with this equation. So the first step is to outline two triangles in blue. And I'm going to show you what those triangles are. The first triangle is over here. It includes the object, this distance, and this hypotenuse. And the other blue triangle is a similar triangle to this one. And it's over here. So outline those triangles in blue. Once you've done that, we're ready to label the length of each leg using our variables. So looking at these triangles, this leg here, the length of that would just be the object height, HO. And the length of this leg is just the distance from the lens to the object. So that would be the object distance, DO. For this triangle, this distance here would be the image height. And this distance from the center of the lens to the image, that is DI, the image distance. Now we're ready to write a ratio that relates those leg lengths. So writing a ratio of the legs for the first triangle, we would have HO over DO. And writing a ratio for the lengths in the second triangle, we would have HI over DI. So you have to use the corresponding leg when writing those ratios. Because these triangles are similar triangles, the ratios of their legs will be equal. So that's because these angles here are equal. So taking the side opposite the angle over the side next to the angle, that's going to be equal to, for this triangle, the side opposite the angle over the side closest to the angle. Step two is to outline the red triangles. The red triangles are on this side of the diagram, and they're going to, this one is separate, but the second one is going to overlap a little bit with this blue triangle. So it's this one here. So outline your red triangles, and then go ahead and pause the video and see if you can label the length of the leg of each of those triangles. The lengths of the legs are going to be as follows. This leg is just the same as this one, so that is the object height. This distance is the focal length. In this triangle, the vertical height here is just the image height again. And this distance, it's not DI because DI is the total distance from the center of the lens to the image. It's not F because that's only from here to here. But what it is, is it's the image distance minus this piece, minus the focal length. So this segment is DI minus F. And now we're ready to write a ratio that relates the legs. These are similar triangles, once again, because these two angles are equal. So taking the side opposite the angle over the side closest to the angle, we have HO over F equals HI over DI minus F. Step three, solve equation 2B for HI. To solve this equation for HI, I need to get rid of the denominator. 
So I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by di minus f so that that denominator will cancel out. And that leaves me with hi on this side. And on this side, I have ho times di minus f over f. Okay, so I just put the ho in front of the parentheses. Step four. Now substitute this expression for hi into equation 1b. So let's rewrite equation 1b. ho over do equals hi over di. So that's just this equation rewritten. And we want to substitute for hi, but we can see that the thing we're going to be substituting, kind of a complicated expression, so I'm going to rewrite this first as hi times 1 over di so that the algebra will be a little more clear. So hi times 1 over di. And now I'm going to substitute for hi, this expression. So ho over do equals, I'm putting in our expression for hi, which is ho times di minus f over f times 1 over di. I'm going to combine the denominators, multiply them together. ho over do equals ho times di minus f over f di. Do you see anything that is the same on both sides that we could cancel out? I'm noticing we have an HO on both sides on the top. So if I divide both sides by HO, those will cancel. And then I'll have 1 over DO equals DI minus F over F DI. Now I should point out that once we had substituted for hi right here, we had an equation that was in terms of the variables we were looking for. This equation here has, oh not quite, it almost has the variables we're looking for. Let's see, once the hos are canceled, I guess at this point. At this point we have an equation that is in terms of the variables we're looking for. Object distance, image distance, and focal length. Those are the only variables in this equation. But it's not a very nice looking equation, so now we're going to do a little algebra to simplify it and get it into a form that will certainly be easier to remember and looks a little nicer. In order to do that, I'm going to expand, I'm going to expand this out. So I'm going to have 1 over do equals the first term on top over the denominator, so di over f di minus the second term over the denominator. And now, I see we have some things we can cancel out. There's a di on the top and the bottom here, and there's a focal length on the top and the bottom here. And then I have 1 over do equals 1 over f minus 1 over di. And the traditional form that this equation is usually written in is to have the do and the di on the same side of the equation. So I'm going to add 1 over di to both sides of the equation. That will take this away and it'll put a 1 over di on this side. So my final equation is 1 over do plus 1 over di equals 1 over f. And this is our lens equation. Has a nice sort of symmetric appearance to it. A couple notes on this equation. Object distance is always positive. Focal length is always positive. Image distance will be positive if it's a real image. So this is positive for a real image. And we have real images when actual light rays are intersecting, and that's going to happen on the right side of the lens. 
Okay, so where, wherever you have actual light rays intersecting, um, DI is going to be positive value. If you have a virtual image, DI is going to be negative. And virtual images are on the left side of the lens, formed by the eye brain system as it works backwards with those light rays to find out the point where those light rays could have come from.